In this video, I'm going to write a C function that's going to effectively return more than one value. And I say effectively because officially C functions only return one value. But we can effectively have the function return more than one value if we're willing to use a technique called pass by reference or sometimes pass by pointer. So we'll make a typical C function first. Let's say a function to compute the area of a rectangle. I could say here int area, int length, int width. And the function would accept two int parameters and it would return one int, the area of the rectangle. And the definition of the function would probably look like this. We'd say return length times width. That would be the one return value. And we could store what is returned by this function in a variable. So we could say int result is equal to area and maybe 10 and five. And then we could print out the result. So we could say printf area percent D and we'll output the result. And if I compile this and run it, we should get an area of 50, and we do. And so this is a typical C function that returns one value. In this case, it's an int, and it's the area of a rectangle. We can't do this in C, though. We can't have a function that, say, returns more than one thing. We just can't do that. C won't let us do that. If you're coming from a language like Python, you might be used to being able to do that. But we can't in C. So how can we effectively do it? So we can effectively do it using a technique called pass by reference or sometimes pass by pointer. And this technique is going to involve using what are called pointer variables. So pointers are variables that store memory addresses. And when we work with memory addresses, we're actually going to be able to alter multiple variables in the main function at once. So let's make a more general function now. We'll make a rectangle computations function that does multiple computations related to rectangles. So it's going to compute the area, and it's also going to compute the perimeter. So we'll say here, void rect. So we're going to use void because the function actually isn't going to return anything the conventional way. And we're calling it rect because it's computing multiple things now. And we're going to add a couple more parameters here. And they're going to be pointer variables. We'll say here int star area and int star perimeter. So these variables here, they're not integers. They're actually pointers to integers. What they're going to store is the memory address for an integer value. And we're actually going to pass in the memory address of two variables in main. And that's how we're going to manipulate those values in this function is by having access to their memory addresses. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. So then next, we're going to create two variables in main for storing the area result and the perimeter result. So we'll say here area result is equal to zero and perimeter result is equal to zero. And we call this function we're not going to be doing the traditional thing of assigning its return value to a variable. Instead, we're going to be passing in the memory address of area result and the memory address of perimeter result. And that's going to allow this function to actually change the value of both of these variables here. So I'll say here, rect 10, 5, and then I'm going to say and area result and and perimeter result. And so what we're passing to the function rect here with this and operator being used with this variable here is we're passing the memory address of area result and the memory address of perimeter result. If you're familiar with using scanf in C, you'll notice how scanf will accept arguments in the same way. We'll say and and then the variable name and scanf is actually able to insert a value into that variable. We're going to use the same technique here. So int star area and int star perimeter, these are not int values. These are pointers to an int. What that means is that area and perimeter are both going to be memory addresses. And that's what we're passing in here. And the int is here 
because the memory addresses that these are going to have are going to be memory addresses for int variables, for int values. That's what the int here means, is that the memory address here is the memory address for some int value. And we can actually access that int value and modify it using the star operator. So here, I'm going to say star area is equal to length times width. And then I'll say here, star perimeter is equal to two times length plus width. So this here is just the computation for an area, and this here is just the computation for a perimeter. But what this star operator does is very important. Area is really a memory address. Perimeter is really a memory address. And they're the memory address for an int value. What the star says is go access that value. Star perimeter says go access that value at the memory address that perimeter is storing. So in other words, go access perimeter result because perimeter is storing perimeter results memory address. Now this is a whole concept of pointers and pointers can be quite tricky if we really get into them. If we're just gonna do something simple like this, we could probably use this technique without completely understanding pointers. But pointers are a super interesting and important aspect of C programming that I would really encourage you to learn more about. So just to review the idea of what's going on here again, because it is kind of odd and different if you haven't seen it before, we're not passing in here the value of area results. We're not passing in zero. We're passing in the memory address, the place in memory where area result is stored. And then by saying star area here and star perimeter, what we're accessing are actually these variables and this value here, and we're modifying the actual values stored by these variables. And we actually call this dereferencing the pointer when we do this. That's the technical name for it. So if we try this out now and we print out the area and perimeter results, we'll see that we get the expected values. So we can output area result and we can output the perimeter result. And for this, we should get 50 and I believe 30. Yeah, so area is 50, perimeter is 30. And we now have a function that is effectively returning two values instead of one. And this technique is called pass by reference or sometimes pass by pointer. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.